Hello YouTubers. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on the uh, Hickok 539C which is probably the best tube tester that uh, I've ever seen. I just acquired it this week. And uh, one thing struck me on, uh, uh, on the internet was the lack of uh, YouTubes on this beautiful little machine and how it works and so forth. Uh, one of the things that struck me on uh, here that uh, there's also I don't see a lot of on the net is is uh, short testing and uh, sound test. So I'm going to use this uh, video to, I have a tube that I know is noisy, so I'm going to uh, test it out and kind of give you an idea how to use this tester as we go along. Uh, now you, you, uh, you noise test this machine by uh, plugging a lead into the noise test selection and just running it to any uh, radio will do. You plug uh, one lead into the ground of the chassis of the radio and the other one uh, so you can see it right to the antenna. It goes right to the antenna because all you're looking for is a static or a noise. Uh, some testers use an earphone uh, uh, to do testing, which I have one on order coming. It should be in in a few days. I may do a tutorial on that one too. But this one works off the basis of hooking to uh, just an old radio. The radio's on. I, don't, I have it in between stations. I'm going to turn the volume up. And I have it. I'm going to put it in between the stations where we'll only hear the static. Now the uh, Hickok uh, 593C, it has a basic scroll as most of them do. We're going to be testing a 60J8 and we're going to look for that in the scroll. I believe it's going to be on the left side. And the 6Bs now. There's a lot of tubes in these scrolls. These, these scrolls are ud updated as the years went by, and I believe this is a fairly uh, a fairly late model. Okay, on the, on the 6Ds, there is 6DJ8 right there. Okay, and the first thing it's telling us to do is, is two types. Of course, it's telling us type 2 it is. Then we have uh, uh, the filament, which is going to be 6.3, which is here. We're going to put that puppy on 6.3. And uh, these knobs here is what the next series of numbers is going to be for. I think there's seven of them. And you see this next uh, seven digits are going to be uh, EV76080. We put this on E, which it already is, and this is on V. And this is going to be on seven, I believe it was. This is going to be on six. Make sure it's not in the middle. Uh, o, which is already on O. And uh, eight, I believe, is the next one. Eight, and then O. Seems like the suppressor is most always on O for every tube I've tested so far. Okay, and then the next thing is going to show you the shunt is going to be on zero, and the shunt is for other types of tests. We're not concerned with that. All right, this is a press. It's telling you the buttons you're going to press. Before you press any buttons, though, you, f you finish out and look at the. It wants you to put your uh, mutual. Con uh, 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 your function switch is, has to be on C as it's stating right there CC so we come over to the function and we put that on C and this is going to control uh, which uh, gauge uh, you're going to be reading through uh, up here in the top right okay it says here the mutual uh, 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 reading you're going to be accepting is going to be 70, 7750 7750 and we are now on uh, trial one. Okay, so I guess we're ready to power up the machine. Now the BIOS volts, which is right here, when you get your machine powered up, you're going to notice this gauge up here is going to start moving. And these BIOS volts need to be at 3.0. And this uh, here's your BIOS volt controller. And you're going to turn that. Let's see, what was it again? 3.0. Until that needle is going to get on 3.0. And that should be it right about there. Your line test. If you feel up close, you see a line that says test. You can turn your your gal to get that uh, get that right on the test. Okay. And I love the way that they keep this in open circuit, so you can adjust it as you're testing. Now, okay. The tube in question. Before you push any of these buttons, you need to do a short test. Plug your tube in. As so. And here's how you run your test. Right now it's on the tube test position. Because that's where you left it the last time you checked. You're going to watch your lights. 
you're going to go to 5, look for shards, tap your tube, because I'm doing a sound test and you need to tap it. Alright, now you see that little blimp? This tester does this on all uh, tubes, uh, all testing. It uh, mentions that it's actually a, something like a, uh, uh, oh hell, what is it, a uh, diode or something that's decharging. No big deal. It only does it once. Uh, now we're on three, which is another part of the tube is checking for. Now we go to one. I saw a little bit of a tiny sharp. A little bit of one, but it's okay. Uh, nothing enough to uh, see there it went a little bit of a blink again but nothing to declare sharp so now we press the uh, four now you got a lock and an unlock uh, you can press the uh, lock unlock first and watch what happens there and you can see where your needle goes make sure everything's okay now you can go ahead and hit the lock and what you want to do is let this tester uh, sit there and cook a little while so to speak and usually what happens when this tube as it's heating is going to uh, go up a little further maybe start dropping down and after about oh I don't know uh, a minute or two if you really want to get a good test on tubes wherever that needle stops is what your reading is going to be now we're going to take that out and you do that by hitting the four unlock and let your needle go back down and now we're going to test the other uh, setting because you got two settings for 60J because it's a double trial now you can move this uh, reader to get that in between those very cool blue lines to keep you from getting uh, confused and uh, we're on EV and this is going to be 2103 2103 and that's always going to be O on the end there and then we do the uh, the sound test again I mean yeah the short test tap the tube nothing there a little bit of a blip there, which is normal. Ah, listen closely. All right, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can actually hear this shark through the radio, and that's the noise test. And you can also see it corresponding with the shark on the light. Let's check out number one, which is another part of the tube. Tap it. No, no bad deal there. But here. You don't even have to tap it, it makes the radio, you can hear it. And again, that's just hooked into the antenna, the noise. Very cool. Now, when you get a, uh, a short or a sign that uh, something is not right on this part of the tube, don't continue your test. Don't uh, put this back on uh, on tube test and then mash your, uh, your P4 button. It's not good for it, you can screw up your transformer. So uh, when you find my tube doing that, it's noisy. If you got a shard, discard the sucker and, and uh, try again. Wipe off the tears because I know some of these tubes are worth a lot of money. But there you have it. This is the Hickok 539C. Best little tube tester in town, I think, for my money. Which is about 1500 bucks. in case you're interested in buying one of these things. But if you got a lot of tubes like I do and you're tired of a fiddle fart and getting them back because of noise tests and so forth and your your other tube tests just don't cover it this is really the way to go okay guys hope you enjoyed my little uh, demonstration i'm gonna try to get on youtube as quick as i can and adios amigos